this is a Leo at the lead time. Winter is coming. Cinnamon hydrosol and essential oil is the best to be used in this season because of its warming, energizing, and antibacterial properties. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a cinnamon hydrosol and essential oil by using LT3000. Uh, also introduce you how to use the hydrosol during the, or the winter time. I'm using the cinnamon bark. Uh, when you use a cinnamon bark, crush into a small pieces is very important. So this can help uh, expose more the plant cells into the steam to this the column. You can use a, a blender, but don't do like a high power blender, make it into powder. Powder is not good. You want to like it into a small pieces, like this. Similar uh, bark is heavy. Uh, 200 gram is about one third of the column. I'll put the cover and screw the top, uh, cap on. Adjust the position. So before you turn on the heat, make sure the pump, the circulation work properly. No overflow. Cinnamon bark, that is a crushed bark. And the bottom is a pot that has the water in there. And the steam goes through the column, so it passes through the cinnamon. And the steam goes through the cooler, the condenser. I'm using the uh, cooling circulation. It's pretty simple. You just have a bucket of water. Normally, uh, you want like uh, at least 10 liter or three gallon of water. Just use a small aquarium pump. Um, that one I use is uh, adjustable. Adjustable is more convenient to adjust the flow rate. You don't have to do a high flow rate. For this, uh, the max is 80 gallon per hour. So after the steam cool down through the coil and then I'm using the my uh, oil and the hydrosol separator how it works is the oil and the hydrosol go into the main column and because the oil is lighter so they will flow on the top and then the hydrosol will go through from the side tubing and go to the uh, container I gotta collect them with uh, this uh, measuring uh, cup and this I love this because it has a little uh, nose there uh, easy to transport and also good to measure so now you can see once the water level go beyond here then the water uh, the hydrosol is coming out I also want to zoom in uh, so hopefully you can see there actually a lot of oil is floating on top now is about 25 minutes uh, I collected a 16 ounce, close to 500 milliliter of uh, the hydrosol. 
and you can still see it's still very uh, milky but getting lighter compared it was I'm going to uh, get a sample into this little glass and I pour the rest in there and I continue my distillation So from here you may see the oil floating on the surface. The major compound in cinnamon is called a cinnamaldehyde. Cinnamaldehyde is, um, has its uh, special flavor. It brings the flavor and the taste to the cinnamon. And also cinnamaldehyde has been used uh, a long history in treating the flu, diarrhea, and the cold. And even the modern industry, the, especially the food industry, they use a lot of uh, cinnamaldehyde uh, in the as a food additive or in the gum. Yeah, widely used to add this uh, special uh, flavor into the into the food or drink. So, let me try this. I'm showing the one way you can use the, uh, the cinnamon hydrosol or cinnamon essential oil. What you can do is you add a little bit in your palm and you do this, three seconds. And cover your mouth and a deep breathe, three times. Now you can breathe the good chemical through your respiratory system, through your nose. As the nose cell is very good to pick up these uh, volatile uh, organics. It can help uh, clean the nose and clean and weak up your the nerve system. That's called aromatherapy. Also. When you do the cinnamon uh, steam distillation, uh, the modern research show it take time. It does take time. It take hours to fully uh, extract the oil or cinnamaldehyde out of the cinnamon. So uh, I'm going to continue. For one batch, the the pot has a two liter of water. That take uh, one and a half hours to finish. Mm -hmm.